You join us here at Cheshire Hanging Baskets for the fourth year in a trot. Can you believe it, Graham? Four years we've been doing this. Yeah, four, four years, yeah, yeah. And here we are 12 months later again. I haven't seen you since um, last year. Yeah, last December, yeah. How have you been? All right. I've been all right, yeah. Um, I need a tree. Yeah, well, I've got hundreds to choose from, mate. I can see that. I, I'm sure we could help you out. What we do is, well, every year... I pick a tree and Fraser picks a tree as well and the listener gets to pick which they want normally Fraser tends to win because he goes for the tree which is called the Fraser fern yes he won last year didn't he yeah yeah he, he did yeah he always picks a Fraser I think he thinks they're named after him for some reason yeah, yeah. I think the trees probably came first yeah yeah probably yeah let's walk in then um well a choice of many um what tips would you give us to pick the best tree well, see, that's the hardest question going because everybody's got their own idea. I can give you pointers, but what I think is a perfect tree is, is definitely not what everybody else thinks is a perfect tree. Everybody is different, and it causes a few arguments as well, especially between married couples. But your best picking, I'll give you a few pointers, but you're best really looking and picking yourself. Okay, so a choice of any, really, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. After looking for what feels like half an hour, I'm yeah, freezing. Freeze, yeah. As you can tell, that's why I've got this ridiculous hat on. I've found one. This, to me, sums up Christmas perfectly, where it's it's not too tall and it's quite wide. Yeah, well, this is a six-foot Nord, um, Nordman fir. It's, it's good to the top. It's a good bushy tree. They're a good needle holder, um, and it's already penciled on a block, so that's how it'll stand. And, and what we find that some people do... If you're going to put this in a corner, they're very easy to just cut back. You know, with a pair of scissors, just to prune it into shape to get them into a corner. But yeah, that's a very good rounded tree, yeah. Very good. Good choice. I'll lead you to where Fraser's was, because at the minute he's filming, aren't you? Yes. This is the one here that Fraser chose. Typical, a Fraser fir. Yeah. Uh, Fra again, Fraser fir, good needle holder. Uh, and the, the the snip they're pruned while they're growing in the plantation that's why they're like, like this shape a good triangular sort of standard Christmas tree shape if you like and they've got a really really strong scent a very very strong scent they're very smelly Fraser a bit like Fraser himself well I didn't want to say that did I but um, in a house which would last longer out of these two they're both as good they, they really are what people tend to do is is put them in water if you treat it like a cut flower a tree this size will, will take on about a litre of water a day, easily. As long as you've wounded it at the bottom, and it'll just, it'll just absorb water. So, and they're both good. These are good if you haven't got much room, and they've got a really good scent. The Nordman fir is good if you like a big blousy tree and you've got plenty of room. Mission complete then. The trees have been netted, penciled, and they're here waiting. As you can see, labelled up Gareth Tameside Radio and Fraser Tameside Radio. Uh, thanks once again, Graham. Yes, well, you're very welcome. You know that, indeed, yeah. So people hearing this now who want a Christmas tree, how do they go about doing so? Yeah, well, we're just off the BT roundabout on the way to Duckingfield at 12 Whitelands, not Whitelands Road. And the phone number, if you want to get in touch, is 330-0986. So, yeah, give us a call, pop in. We've got hundreds of trees, plenty to choose from. Um, you're only the third person who I've said this to so far, but have a very Merry Christmas. And the, and the same to you and to your family and to all at the radio station. Thanks very much indeed, Gareth.